Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kenny is in the corner area here. Um, I know I said I was going to try to get back into videos and it has been a while since I said that. But I'm going to try to be doing more, more often. Again, I won't be able to do them every Sunday like I did before. Um, but I think I'm ending school soon. So maybe I'll be able to. I don't know. It really depends on what happens. Um, for today's video, I asked a while back, um, I think on Instagram and on here, for Q&A questions, like cosplay related ones, whatnot. So I'm gonna answer those today. The first question is, what is your least favorite and what is your favorite? Uh, different order. But as far as favorite goes, it really depends on who I'm cosplaying at the time. Like, I tend to just cosplay um, a few of my characters in a set time period. And it depends on the content I'm making. Like, um, although I haven't really cosplayed much in a while. I guess Toga, because I usually tend to make my favorite content with her. Um, and I guess my Ana cosplay too is really fun to do. But it just really depends on who I'm cosplaying, what I'm making, you know. I don't have like a specific favorite of all time. Um, and for my least favorite cosplays, again, there's no specific one um some of my closet cosplays didn't quite turn out exactly how I wanted so they're kind of like low down on my list of ones I like but as far as they go in the future I do want to like improve upon them so then they would like become more of my favorite so there's really no favorite least favorite as of right now so the next question I'm gonna combine like two questions that I got which is when did you start cosplaying and like how did you start cosplaying or yeah how long have you been cosplaying when did you like start cosplaying there's a really simple answer for this but I see it as more complicated so I don't know the dates exactly a little confused on that um, but I believe my first ever convention was 2017. But for that convention, I don't see what I wore as my first cosplay because I wasn't really into the cosplay community at that time, so I wasn't calling it a cosplay, I think. Um, if I did it now, sure, it would be, I would consider it a cosplay because, again, I'm, like, in the community now and I, like, know what cosplay is. But back then, it was like a Hot Topic dress Doctor Who outfit. So I didn't officially see it as a cosplay because I wasn't in the community. But after that, I went to another one. I want to say 2018. I went to two conventions. I went to Boston Fan Expo and then I went to Anime Boston. And I wore the same cosplay like pretty much every day. Except for, I think, Fan Expo. I think I had two cosplays then. But I don't remember the second one. Um, but that was Historia from Attack on Titan. So that is when I officially started, like, seeing myself as a cosplayer. And, like, getting into cosplay. So, technically, there are two first cosplays. However you want to see it. Both are cosplays. But one, I didn't really count as a cosplay at that time. Um, but then, up until, I want to say 2019, I was only cosplaying for conventions. Um, like, I, I didn't have a cosplay Instagram. I wasn't, like, getting tons of cosplays, like, each month. Um, I was only getting, like, one per convention, which is fine, of course. But when we went into lockdown, I started, like, doing more cosplays. Because I thought we would be out of this a lot quicker. So I was like 
doing stuff that I was gonna wear for conventions um like next year but then I like really enjoyed doing it so I started taking more pictures I started like doing all sorts of stuff made my own stuff so it could be really simple and I could just say I started in like 2017 but there are many parts I see to that I hope that made sense it probably didn't but if um, how I started cosplaying was basically before I went to conventions I think I was like into cosplay YouTube so I was watching a lot of creators I don't really remember who but I was like watching skits and con vlogs and whatnot so um that was like something that I was like I want to do that that seems really cool and then when I went to my first convention like just being there with all the other cosplayers made me really want to like be a part of that and then the pandemic hit and I was like I could do all this stuff so again there's like layers to it I think but again I can just say I liked cosplay YouTube and I started in 2017 so either answer um, the next question is, what celebrity would you like to see your cosplays? Now, I don't have a specific one off the top of my head. It really depends on what con I'm going to and who's going to that convention. Because I have, in fact, planned cosplays around who's going to be at the convention. Like, when I found out Zachary Levi was going to be at a convention, I went as Rapunzel so I could meet him as Rapunzel. Um, when I found out Elijah Wood was going to a convention, I went as Amanda from Dirk Gently, so I can meet him as Amanda, and Kenny went as Todd, his character, from that. Um, so I have, in fact, I'm sure there's more, I can't remember again, but I have, in fact, purposely met, um, actors as their, as characters from their stuff. But I have had, like, celebrities, like, like my pictures and like I think a few times comment so that's pretty awesome when that happens but I don't really plan that and again I don't there's no specific one like I would love to meet Simon Pegg and it would be cool if I was any one of his characters at the time but I don't have a specific list I've pretty much met the people in the cosplays that I wanted to meet if that makes sense the next question is another two-part um, question, which is, what cosplay was the cheapest and what was the most expensive? Now, c price does not matter for your cosplays. You don't have to spend any money on your cosplays. I do, however, know what my most expensive one is because at the time I was using the app to like calculate how much I had to spend on the cosplay and then how much I would need for like going to the convention. But I didn't spend, like I didn't buy everything myself, so I don't know the full price, because some of the things I got for it was Christmas gifts. So I don't know the full price, but how much I spent on it was roughly $380. Um, it was definitely more, but, the, um, I do know that price. I'm, I don't think there was one that would have been more expensive. I, again, I didn't keep track of my other ones, but I, I'm pretty sure that's the most expensive one that I got. As far as least expensive, I don't know if there's like one specific one, but most of my closet cosplays, I would count as least expensive. I mean, I had to buy the stuff at one point but if you're like talking in that specific cosplay, how much did I spend to make that cosplay? If I already have the wig, if I already have the clothes, I'm not buying anything necessarily. So it technically didn't cost me anything for those cosplays. Um, if we're talking like cosplays I had to buy stuff for, Maybe my Louise cosplay that I did a while ago because I only had to buy like a few things. Really, I used my hair for that. The dress was pretty cheap. Maybe that one. I'm not 
I'm not sure on that side, but yeah. The only reason I know the most expensive one is because I was keeping track of it at the time, which I should probably keep track of the other ones because, but yeah. The next question is kind of similar to the last one, which is what cosplay took the shortest, what cosplay took the longest to get together? And it's pretty much the same answer because the one that was my most expensive did take the longest to get together be um, because uh, I started getting stuff together before December and then I had to wait till December to get some of the stuff and then I worked up until April not even like I mean that was like getting it together and putting it together but of course I didn't work like throughout the entire month I did take breaks but it was a lot of like putting together so it pretty much felt like I was working the entire month um I usually again it usually takes me longer to get all the stuff together and to work on it than the actual time because it might take me like months to work on it but technically it only took me weeks to like put it together so not quite sure on that answer and as far as shortest time again probably my closet cosplays because I'm just like all right shirt wig done um and also if we're talking like making it they f they feel a lot longer than they are because I'll take breaks and so I'll be working on it but not like putting it together so sometimes I only take a few actual days so I'm not quite sure on a proper answer for that one but it really depends on what you count as like working on it taking together putting it together so I would have to say my closet cosplays are really because I'm just like all right I could use this shirt and that wig and then I'm done <laughs> which is nice because if I take too long on a cosplay it gets annoying because I'm like I want to make content next question is a question I've gotten a lot um, which is what are your cause plans for this year and I got a lot so I I like pulled an April Fool's prank and I like posted joke cosplays that I was gonna do for the year but as far as like actual cause plans I don't have specific ones I usually do if I'm going to a convention but I'm not going to a convention so I don't I'm just like maybe I could cosplay this maybe I won't um, other than that, I do have one that I'm working on that I hope to finish this year, which is, um, Adam Eve from Invincible. I'm, like, working on it right now. I have to go back to working on it. So I'm hoping to get that one done this year, but as far as, like, official plans go, it, it really changes. I mean, I have cosplayed this year, and I plan on keep cosplaying this year. Nothing is, like, set. Once I get back into, like, conventions, I'll have, like, set stuff. But other than that, there's nothing really planned. I know that doesn't exactly answer the question, but I, I don't have an answer. The next question is, how did you discover Doug Gently's Hallucive Detective Agency, which is one of my favorite shows of all time? I kind of remember this story. Not really. But I got into it, like, right around the time it came out. So I saw a preview for it before it came out um, on BBC America because I was watching something. And I, at the time, I didn't know that it was Elijah Wood. I think I probably said, like, he looks like Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> um, but uh, I was like... I texted my dad and I was like, this show looks really good and he looks really familiar, like, we should watch it. Um, and my mom was like, you have to read the book first. 
because she knew it was a book and everything. And I didn't know it was a book at first. But we didn't have the book, so I ended up reading Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy because same author. And I really liked that, so that's where my love of that book came from also. But then after I read it, I got right into it, and I really loved it. Um, I don't think I've been big in the fandom, because there's not much of a fandom, as far as I know. But, yeah, I, I pretty much watched it when it came out, and then I watched the second season, like, when it came out. So, I don't remember which year it came out, but for a while. And then I just recently started cosplaying from it, because I realized I could do that. <laughs> um, so yeah. It's, it's been a while, and I'm really glad I did get into it, because I love it so much. The next question is, what cosplay have you been most hyped um, ever? What co What's the cosplay you've been the most hyped ever? I'm not sure if you mean, like, which one I've been most excited for, or, like, which one received the most excitement. Um, so I guess I'll answer both. I'm not really sure. I mean, I'm usually excited for all my cosplays. That's why I cosplay them. Um, although some I've been like, eh. But I guess, like, I'm really excited for Adam Eve. I'm like, I was really excited for Amanda and, like, Inko and stuff. But pretty much all of them, really. Um... I don't think there's been one that I wasn't, like, a at least a little bit excited for. Like, I haven't been like, I hate this cosplay, I hate it so much, but I'm gonna do it. Except maybe Toga, who I wasn't, I guess I wasn't necessarily excited for Toga. But I am now, so it doesn't count. Um, as for, like, who's, like, gotten the most excitement out of people... Probably Toga and Inko. Um, I'm not really sure about anyone else. Well, obviously, like, people like all my other cosplays. But, um, those, I think, got the most excitement. Because everyone was like, um, because I think I mentioned them before. And everyone was like, yes, this is going to be awesome. And then they really liked them. And I've been doing them for a while, so... Um, and I've been transforming them, like, I've been adding to them, and I've been improving upon them, so everyone gets excited again. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's those two. At least, like, the main ones. Um, I, sometimes I don't really announce my cosplays. Oh, sometimes I do. I try not to. So, usually people don't, like get excited for a certain character because I haven't told them that I'm cosplaying them. But yeah, um, I believe it's those ones. So I actually, um, read all the questions. I thought I had more, but I did, I did cut out a few questions. Um, not because they weren't good questions. They were very good questions and I'm sure I'll cover them at some point, but some people sent me like multiple questions. So I wanted to make sure everyone who sent me a question at least got one in the video. I did let people have multiple questions in the video if they sent me them, but I didn't cover every question. So I wanted to keep this kind of small for my first, like, official video back. But yeah, I really appreciate everyone who did send me questions, and I really enjoyed doing this. As far as, um, future videos go, I have one planned, and then I'm not really sure after that. So if you have ideas, leave them in the comments. I'm always happy to get ideas. I do have a Sims video that I never edited before, like I took the break. Um, so I will do that at some point and put it on. It just takes a while to edit, so I have to like actually sit down and do that and like put all my attention on that. And if Kenny over here... Um, wants to like do more of those and if you guys want to see more of those we will we'll finish that series because we only got two videos but yeah thank you for watching 